good evening friends in the first uh, video i discussed about the uh, impact of loss of excitation over the system now in this video i will uh, explain uh, about the protection part during loss of excitation look at this picture the x axis stands for active power y axis stands for reactive power this is my capability curve of generator if generator is operating within this zone means generator is in healthy condition if my operating point is going out of this zone somewhere like this so generator is operating at abnormal condition during loss of condition my generator will operate in this zone as induction generator during loss of prime mover generator may operate in the second or third quadrant depending depending upon the excitation if excitation is strong it will operate in the synchronous motor zone if there is no excitation then it will also take excitation from the grid and it will run as induction motor with a speed lower than the synchronous speed okay now uh, let's go to the protection scheme in the protection scheme this is rx plane r and x now we can say it's uh, impedance plane in the generator relay uh, there is a locus set which is circular in shape now this diameter this diameter is exactly equal to xd which is synchronous reactance of generator and the offset of this circle is exactly equal to xd dash by 2 xd dash is my transient reactance of generator why i am taking offset because during uh, uh, vibration condition of generator at a load angle of 180 degree the impedance measured at the terminal of generator is coming out to be xc dash by 2 so we are ignoring the tripping during vibration of generator so we are taking this offset so for loss of excitation protection there are certain conditions which are compulsory the first one is the operating point has to enter into the locus for a certain time period condition number 1 number 2 condition is the rotor winding should experience under voltage number 3 condition is the reverse reactive power means the reactive power drawn by the generator it has to be more than certain limit these are the three conditions the fourth condition decides whether it's a class a trip or b trip means whether it's generator trip or turbine trip this three conditions are uh, compulsory in both the trips but the fourth condition is different suppose if my grid voltage it is falling down then it is generator trip now suppose if grid voltage is healthy but my active power it is high then it is my turbine trip condition so for turbine trip my active power has to be higher and other three condition has to satisfy and for generator trip my grid voltage should fall down and other three condition should satisfy why i am considering generator trip at the grid voltage falling because this is related to this one if my grid is not able to feed megawatt then the grid voltage will fall down and the grid may collapse blackout may occur and the second one is related to the overloading of stator so we can wait for the turbine trip followed by the generator trip thank you